weekend is going to feel a lot like summer, even though, really, the official start of fall, right? Mm -hmm. Alongside First Alert meteorologist Patrick Pete, um, we're going to get nice and toasty this weekend. Oh, yeah, Tracy. We're talking about Florida with being near 10 degrees above Ooh. average uh, the next couple of afternoons. So while it's not going to be the hottest air we've seen this year, yeah, it's been a cooler right. than average week for the bulk of this weekend. Unfortunately, those numbers going up. Gorgeous view across uh, Atlanta. You can see uh, beautiful skies, a lot, a lot of clouds out there, but a lot of blue, uh, and that's allowing things to warm up a little bit. 91 degrees, the current temperature at Hartsville-Jackson, 92 in Marietta. Numbers a little bit cooler out east in Athens, but uh, those numbers are going to hang out uh, in the warm territory through the next few hours. If you have plans to get out and about, I think you're okay. 80 degrees by 9 o'clock in then sliding into the 70s and if you dip into the 60s you're going to be lucky uh, upper 60s across most of the region for the start of the day so going to be a warmer than average start and the reason we're seeing this warming trend is because there's an area of high pressure to the west and it is gradually shifting further east and as it does essentially it just kind of bakes us in the afternoon and it gives us a lot of sunshine and that's why these numbers will continue to warm so expect your weekend to be filled with a lot of sunshine some high clouds try to make their way in the afternoon uh, but I think it's going to be a a gorgeous day. We top out near 90 in Austell and Smyrna, 89 down in South Fulton, 92 here in Atlanta, 90 from Alpharetta into Sandy Springs, upper 80s, the afternoon high for folks that are in Buford. So going to be a warm day that starts off on the warm side. 70 degrees at 6 a.m. for folks that are getting out early, maybe to check out Fresh Market, getting up to 7 to 8 by 10 o'clock, and it's Japan Fest weekend. So if you're going to check that out at Gas South's Convention Center tomorrow afternoon, I think that it's going to be a little toasty here. 89 degrees by 2 o'clock, hanging out in the 90s for the bulk of the afternoon. And as Letty C hits the stage out in Mableton tomorrow evening, we'll see those numbers gradually dip into the lower 80s. So a dry weekend on tap. Sunday morning service forecast has us near 70 degrees area wide. We get into the upper 80s by the time you're grabbing a bite to eat at 1 o'clock. So going to be warm through the day. We hang out in the low 90s for a couple of hours, and then those numbers fall back into the 70s through the overnight. And we're keeping this forecast fairly dry even as we head back to work next week. Temperatures hanging out above average Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll see a few more clouds build in, and that's where we'll introduce some low end rain chances as we head towards the second half of the work week. Better chances for rain by Friday. Friday, and part of that's going to be due to what we're watching in the tropics. Uh, we're going to be cracking at least an area of low pressure that should drift into the Gulf of Mexico next week, and that's where our rain chances will come in. Now, there is a whole lot of uncertainty with this uh, here uh, on the strength, the timing, and the exact center, uh, the location of the center with the system. So we'll be tracking this. There is a low end chance that we could see this develop over the course of the next few days, about a 40 percent chance of development over the course of the next week week in the Gulf of Mexico. This is something we'll keep you updated with, of course, on air and online. At 3.30, we